to video games in the technology era, it can be quite frustrating when your console doesn't quite, quite work as it should. So let's take a look at some of the ways we can improve the functionality and speed of our Xbox One console. So first and foremost, if you are having any kind of issue with your console, before you dive into the more complicated fixes, the first thing you want to do is give your console a hard reset. So what we're going to do is click in the Xbox button until this menu pops up, come up to turn console off, and click it. What you want to do after that is head over to the plug that your, sorry, the outlet that your console is plugged into, unplug it from the wall, and let it sit for 30 seconds to a minute. I recommend a minute just because I like a little bit of overkill, but at least 30 seconds. Pow plug it back in, power everything back up, and that will fix the majority of issues with your console lagging or just whatever. It'll rebuild the system cache and improve the f uh, efficiency of the console. But we're not going to do that to save time, so let's move along. Our first, the first thing we're going to be looking at is port forwarding. I've made a video on this already, so I'm going to link it right here. Um, and it will also be down in the description. And what it's going to do is give your console a flawless path to talk to your router, which is going to improve uh, the data being transferred between which will improve the speed of your console, the connectivity will be better, and it should just make for a smoother gaming experience altogether. I want to touch on this really quick. You're going to come across something in forums, on tutorials, it's called DMZ. Um, don't worry about what it stands for, but basically what it does is opens up every port on your router. Never do this. I'm going to repeat this. Never do this. Think of it like your house. You have one door to your house, or maybe two if you're in a detached house, whatever. The point is, you use your main door. Think of it as if you now have about 65,000 doors in change all unlocked. So that means there's now 65,000 different ways for you to get compromised on your network. So don't do it, only open up what you need. The next thing we're gonna do is take a look at some of the games and their data that gets saved on the hard drive. So you, whatever you have, I have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, whatever games you have, as you play, they um, save data to your hard drive. But sometimes if that data becomes corrupt, it'll affect the performance of the console altogether. So some of the things we can do to improve the um, performance of our console is to actually get rid of some of the temporary files that were on installed on the hard drive. So what we do is we come over to our console here, um, we come to the games tab, and within the tab we will go down to manage game and add-ons, and then you can simply delete the game. Again, not going to do this to save time, but that's the concept, and that's what you can do. It'll delete some of the local stuff, um, which can improve the system performance again because it's not going to be dealing with corrupt files. Our next tweak is going to be disabling automatic updates. Sometimes this can affect your network speed, which if you're playing an online game, it can take away from that experience. So what we're going to do is come over to settings here, just at the end. And we're going to go to the power mode and startup, or power and startup. And then we're going to do power mode and startup. Here, we're going to see a few different options. Um, we're going to be looking at the um, instant on and energy saving modes for the console. And we want to make sure we have it set to energy saving. And what this is going to do is obviously help to preserve the power, but it's going to prevent automatic updates. And what this can, this can be quite useful in reducing the strain on your network, um, which will improve the performance of your console online. When you're Our next tip is going to be heading over again to the settings tab. And then we're going to navigate to network. We're going to do network settings, as I'm just waiting for it to 
catch up, Advent, advanced settings, DNS settings, and we can click manual. Now, what we can do here is manually input a DNS server if you're finding yours has trouble. So you may be having trouble with games, just various things that can happen with your online experience. So what you can do is come into manual and you can input the primary and secondary DNS servers. Most people use Google. I use the automatic. I haven't seen a problem, but if you're noticing, like, if there's a noticeable difference, this might be worth something worth taking a look at. So you can input the manual, the manual DNS server and most people like to go with Google, which we all know is 8.8.8.8. And once we do that, we then will be taken to the secondary DNS tab. There, if you're gonna use Google again, it would be 8.8.4.4. Um, but again, that varies on which server you're using, but that's the most um, common and well-known one. But again, those are the main tweaks to improve your console's performance and also known as optimizing your console. There are a few other things you can try. They're just minor tweaks, but they may make a little bit of a difference and enough to impact your gaming experience if you're still having trouble. A few of those things you can try. So always make sure to close all your games and apps when if you're not using them. That will preserve your console's resources. Um, you also want to avoid peak times for gaming. Now that could be after work or after school or um, on midday weekends or some evenings, you know. This will be when everyone else is on, it can affect, it'll slow down your network if everyone else is also trying to access the same thing you are. The last thing you can try is when possible, try to grab yourself a hard copy of the disc. Now I know in 2019, Everyone likes to avoid having to get up and switch the game out on their console. I'm guilty of this as well, don't worry. But what this is going to do is prevent the need for your console to reach out into the internet and pull in all the data, which is going to strain your network and your console and make it work over time. If you can do it locally, you won't have to worry about that. You can even disable the network temporarily to preserve the resources and get the job done quicker. Hopefully some of those tips will help you. If you need any additional help or you have any feedback or comments, please feel free and I will respond as soon as I can. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.